to another stream. Um, let me move a few things around here. Um, let's actually, we should check on these. Um, okay, so I trimmed some of these vases yesterday. I think I kind of want to fix the shape of this one a little bit really quickly. do we have okay so we have some stuff slow drying over here um i want to come back to this one um, i guess i kind of wrap it up a little bit see so we have to finish up the bottom of this um this we're gonna uh, we attach this like this foot separately uh, from throwing this um like face thing um that's only because i messed up and i should have left more room for the bottom there um so what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna um, finish this foot and then we're gonna carve into the walls of the vase. Or um, I guess it's like not really a vase. I think we're gonna like go for more of a um, like candle holder kind of look. The vases that I make like, um, the other ones that I have are a little bit bigger um and like i left more room in the bottom for water to be um put in there and then you can kind of like see the stems um um but i think i don't know i feel like this one is on the smaller side so i think we'll just call it a like candle holder I think after it's fired and once it's done, I think it'll be a really good size for um, a, oh shoot, I just had the word. I just had the word, I was gonna say it and now I forgot. <laughs> Not like a tea light, but the one that's like a little bit bigger than that. Um, that's kind of like what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm gonna be sitting here trying to think of that word the whole time. I know it starts with a V. This is gonna shrink um, a bit. It's it's gonna shrink when um, once it's fully dried, um, and then in both firings that we're gonna put it through, it's gonna shrink um, another couple times. So I guess we'll have to see like how big it is. See what kind of candles can fit in it. This half is pretty wide, so 
Maybe you could even put like, um, like some other small size candles in it. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot of adjusting to make sure that this actually sits flat. Um, I had a little bit of a hard time yesterday. <laughs> um, there's a, like a bowl, another bowl that I threw on the wheel and it's just, um, the base of it was not as thick as I wanted it to be. Um, and then we ended up adding a foot to that one also. And that one took a little bit to make sure that it sits flat after carving it down quite a bit. Oh yeah, so um, so I'll give you guys an update. Um, I'll have to adjust like my stream schedule, or I don't know, put up some kind of like notification. Um, that my I'm gonna have a bit of a different schedule. Um, so today, what I'm gonna do is, um, so I actually have this week off, off from work, um. Cause my mom's visiting um so what i what normally happens is i take my lunch break and do the stream so the stream's only an hour but um yesterday we went for two hours and um today i'm gonna do another two hours mm -hmm. um so that like when i upload it to youtube i can split them up and still have some content to um, to upload for the days that I'm actually um, that I won't be streaming. So I don't think we're gonna do a stream. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm like pretty sure we're not gonna be doing a stream um, tomorrow or tomorrow, which is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 
Um, but so let me think. Okay, so yesterday we did two videos. So I uploaded one yesterday and I uploaded the second half for today's and then um, um, actually I have like a non-stream video that I have set to launch or it's like scheduled to upload or, or go live or whatever. Um, wait, what is today? <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so confused. So I have a, I've I have one scheduled for tomorrow, but it's a um I think it's my paint palette video. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> um I uh what did I do a couple different videos? I feel like I have like okay, yeah, I have like two scheduled. Um, but the one scheduled was scheduled for today, but it's already uploaded. Um, <laughs> um, and then the the two parts that we're gonna do today are gonna be uploaded Thursday and Friday, and then um, I'm not exactly like it's not on my schedule to upload. Or like do any streams for the weekend but we'll see um when it gets to the weekend what i'll do for that but if you check the youtube we'll have stuff going on there um i kind of have this thing that's going on where it's basically just like we have a video uploaded nearly every day so I just kind of want to like keep that momentum. Okay. And a few days ago I did, I uploaded a new video um, of kind of like a little tour of my studio. Um, I did give a little tour in it, um, in one of the earlier streams. Um, so there's a little bit of a tour there, but the, um, the one that I made its own like video for, it's a little bit more, um, like it's just focused on that and the tools that I have. So, um, so it has like all of the tools that I feel like are really essential. Um, there, I mean, there's so many things that you can have to do ceramics, but I'm just showing like, um, my setup and you know, like, just kind of like the way that I do things. So I do... Um, a little bit of hand building, slab building, and wheel throwing, and I'm showing you all of the tools that I feel like are pretty, um, pretty, like, basic, and you can always, you know, <laughs> there are so many more things that you could buy if you want, <laughs> but I think it's, like, a good place to start if you are considering doing ceramics, um, and you need somewhere to start, you need to have some idea of, like, the things that are out there. Um, so that's kind of my idea of it, because, like, everybody has a different studio, they have a different setup, um, they have, like, I don't know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, a lot of artists always kind of, like, rig stuff up or um use different things um like using things that are not really something you would find at the ceramic store um for example i have some cake decorating 
tools that are really great for sculpting and um, some stuff like like touching up pieces, adding handles, um, that kind of stuff. And like, I used to do cake decorating, that's why I have them. Um, but it's just kind of like, just kind of like a reminder, like keep your, keep your uh, mind open to the different things that you might find and uh, find use in. Um, let me see. We should wet, wet this room a little bit. Um, yeah, I have like quite a few like baking things. Um, even like a banding wheel like this, like cake decorators have their own kind of that too. Um, obviously they're usually like a lot bigger, um, but, um, cake decorators use that, um, uh, I have rolling pins and anything that is kind of like um, cake decorating in terms of like fondant. Fondant is obviously it's not clay, but <laughs> it's very moldable. People, um, they kind of like roll it out and sculpt it and um, all of that kind of stuff with it. So. Not just like baking in general, but like specifically cake decorating is, can be, um, can have a lot of similar tools to um, clay. Um, okay. Um, so we're not really, we're not done. I just kind of wanted to like wet the sides. We don't want it to get too dry. Okay. Um, so it's kind of a mess. So I'm going to just kind of touch it up a little bit in here. I think we're, we're basically at the shape, at the um, like um, height and shape that I want for this foot. Um, so we're just gonna touch it up a little bit and then see how, um, <laughs> like how wobbly it is and try to just go in and fix that and adjust. just sponge this a little bit and um, just dry it off so that it doesn't like stick. Okay, it is a little wobbly. Yeah. Not, it's not as bad as um, <laughs> that what we were doing yesterday.
Okay. Just kind of like wiggling it a little bit to see if it wiggles. Um, mm, let's see. Okay, I think this is a lot better. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab my other piece. Just looking so kind of like make it look similar. I'll be right back. So this is kind of what we are going to be doing. Um, actually, this is kind of a similar size, <laughs> but it is gonna like shrink a bit. So let me let me move this a little further out. So this is one that um, I've already made. I do feel like the bottom um, could be a lot like could have more depth for being a vase but this is kind of like what I'm thinking um and it's still kind of like a great like candle holder too so let's kind of do a little kind of like comparison like And then we'll have to touch up this rim a little bit too. Um, we could probably do that now, but I'm just like so excited to like get carving. I like, I'm not, um, like I just started doing hand building like not that long ago. So I don't, <laughs> I'm not like super, great at it and it's hard for me to make larger pieces with it um so i've been like really wanting to make more of these things um whatever it is <laughs> like candle holder um maybe a vase i've been really wanting to make some more um but i've been i have like wait until i got a wheel for that so I'm hoping to do some more of this. Okay. So I think that's a good start. Um, hmm. Let me grab a tool. So I actually um, use a knitting noodle um, to like kind of like draw out what I'm doing um, just so we're not like all in just going at it with the carving. Um, <laughs> so um, I think what we want to do is 
not put the shapes too close to each other and not too close to the rim. I think that was, I think that was kind of like a challenge that I had um, at one point, like actually going in with the carving tool. It's also hard to do when the holes are really tiny. Um, So let's just kind of see what we get. Um, something that we will be using. Um, oh, here it is. I have this like um, hole punching tool. I have a, quite a few of these. They come in like a bunch of sizes and that can be really great for some of these smaller holes that we do. Okay. I think this is like so fun. I love like, um, just like, I don't know. I love like really organic shapes. And if you've seen my paint palette, it actually looks a lot like this. Which sounds kind of weird.
this one bigger. Hmm. I think I'll just put some random thing over here. Hmm. Sorry, I'm kind of like zoning out. <laughs> it's just like one of those things that's like, um, well, I am like, there's a lot of things I'm like considering um, as I'm making the shapes, but it's also just kind of like, I don't know, it's just like one of those things like coloring or something where you just kind of zone out while you're doing it. Because I want to make some like different shapes, but there are certain things I don't want to do either. Um, like anything that looks too maybe blocky. And we want the shapes to vary quite a bit. Um... in like size and shape. Okay. 
I put um, I kind of want something over here. I kind of want it to be a circle, but I think that would be too small. Maybe I'll do like something like this. Um, I want like a. I'm trying to go for like a good balance of like uh, curvy or weird shapes, but also um, more like just circles and um, like oval shapes. Um, I'll put some kind of circle over here. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe like a teardrop kind of shape. Mm, hmm. <sighs> um, okay, so I kind of want to go up here. But I also am going to want something in this space. I really like this one, but maybe we'll change it. And I don't really want them to do like, um, like splitting off like feet, like one, like one foot's going that way and one foot's going that way. I don't really want to do that kind of a thing. Um, cause like, cause these are all similar in the way that they don't have any points to them. Everything is very curvy. Um, so that's kind of something I'm considering while I'm doing this. Um, what do we do like? Maybe we'll do... Um, <laughs> I don't really like that. Um, mm -hmm. Cause I feel like it could go a little bit taller too. Okay, let's take some water and just erase that. <laughs> Sorry if you guys like suddenly cannot see <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to get better about like filming, like filming myself. Um, Cause like, obviously I need to see, but like you guys need to see too. <laughs> um, okay. Also, it's like, um, is that the only man? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna move this. We really need it for this carbon part. Okay. Yeah, I think that is better. Um So I could do like, yeah, we could do that. Um, okay, maybe we'll put a small circle over here. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like <laughs> it, like we're struggling at this part. Um, I kind of want to like go over here, but I feel like this is too, I don't know. I feel like it's a little small for like a circle. 
I'm just trying to, like, avoid that, but we're also trying to avoid, like, um, making, just, like, making them too small, and we want to make sure we have enough room in between them. Hi, Robert. I'm so glad you could join again. Uh, what are you making for dinner? I'm assuming that you're making dinner still. <laughs> you're always making dinner when you're watching. <laughs> I need to like go to the grocery store and get, I don't know, <laughs> something. <laughs> I do have this, um, like, one of my lazy meals is, like, um, it's, <laughs> I'm gonna use some fancy words. It's a deconstructed onigiri. <laughs> it's, like, I'm too lazy to, like, actually, like, an onigiri is, like, um, it's kind of supposed to be, like, like, smushed together. Um, it's like rice and then inside you have some kind of, um, you have like some kind of filling for the inside. Um, and I just like have rice and then like off to the side there's like a little thing of, um, uh, like the, the tuna. I usually do like a tuna, um filling it's like tuna fish like with mayonnaise <laughs> it sounds really gross but it's really not that bad um I'd say that's like the most like traditional kind of onigiri and then I also put like um soy sauce with it and um furikake um and that's just kind of like a that's just like a rice seasoning um so I think that's what I'm gonna have for dinner later um, but I have to make more rice. Ooh, you have a pork shoulder? I don't even know if I've ever had a pork shoulder. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My mom's cooked all kinds of things, though. Um, nice. Mashed potatoes and a salad, too. Um, yeah, mashed potatoes can be really great. That should be something I make more often, because that is, like... <sighs> Um, it's not, it's not too complicated, um, or, like, too much effort either, either. Let me see, what am I doing in this corner? Um, maybe need something like this. Um, yes. I feel like I probably have had pulled pork before. I don't think... Well, I guess I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I have, but if I did, I don't think it was, it's obviously not very memorable. <laughs> um... I don't know. I'm not sure if that's something that I like. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't want to like be mean, but like my mom's not like super great at like meat, like cooking meat things sometimes. Um, and they end up really dry. Um, and you don't want like crazy dry like over dried like <laughs> like meat to eat. it's just like <laughs> um yeah mm. let me see I'm not 
I'll do here. Oh, okay, that is pork shoulder. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've talked about this, Robert. I don't cook. <laughs> so I definitely, like, <laughs> the extent of things that I know about meat when I go shopping is, like, not a lot. <laughs> Um, it's, I don't know. What do we want to do over in this corner here? Maybe something that goes... We want something in the middle that goes this way. Since we're talking about food, this always kind of reminds me of, like, they kind of remind me of, like, the McDonald's, like, chicken nuggets. Because, like, they're in, like, these very rough shapes. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, I watched this, like, video about, like, McDonald's or whatever, and, like, I never really considered that they are like, well, like, I know there's, like, certain shapes to them, but I never knew that they were actually supposed to be, like, specific things, which is kind of weird. Um, like, I, like, one is a boot, which is super, that one's pretty obvious. That one does look like a boot, but then I guess, like, one looks like a bell or something. I've never really thought that. Just on my own um i watched the video a while ago so i can't really remember oh you can't have mcdonald's anymore why not is this a health related thing oh sesame seeds hmm hmm Interesting. Um, luckily, I don't think I'm really, like, allergic to anything. But some things are, like, I don't know. Some things like soy or something. It's, like, you wouldn't even guess that's in whatever. And it's, like, in everything or something. So I'm really glad I don't have to, like, worry about that kind of thing. Um, although you never know. I think you can, like develop allergies like as you get older too though so no one's really safe <laughs> um although I think like I don't know I don't know but I think like maybe you could like um like get over an allergy um my partner says that he, he used to be, like, crazy allergic to cats and just isn't as much anymore. Or, I don't know, I think he, like, he does, like, sneeze a lot and stuff. Um, and I think that might be the cat. Um, but he said it used to be, like, a lot worse. So, I'm like, hmm. It's kind of weird. Oh my gosh. Oh man. You're like, you're allergic to like all the like really common medicine. <laughs> that's like, that's a bummer. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like, I have to, I take ibuprofen like all the time. Um... I don't know, like, I haven't, like, asked my doctor about it or gone to the doctor for it, but I, like, I don't know. I just kind of, like, sleep weird, and then my neck hurts, like, the, I don't know, like, the muscles in my neck hurt, and then, and then it, like, 
gives me a headache, I'm pretty sure. And it's really annoying. And it's kind of, like, random. Um, so, I ha- like... Well, it's, like, it is pretty random. It hasn't happened in, like, maybe a week. But that's something that I've been having to take, like, um, ibuprofen for. And it usually is, like, happening for, like, a few days. I don't know. Maybe it's just, like, if I'm stressed when I'm sleeping or something. I don't know. Something about when I'm sleeping, my neck just, like, I don't know. Gives up. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, I don't like this like weird stacked shape happening. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounds horrifying. Um. Yeah, anything that's kind of like you're eating it and you're allergic to it is well I mean like any allergy is like really scary but I feel like um I kind of feel like if it's like closing your throat <laughs> like I don't know I just feel like you would like really freak out when that happens <laughs> well I guess it kind of depends on like um like how severe the reaction is because like I don't know some are like really crazy though too for like anything um let's see let's check out what we have going on here okay um I think this is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit larger. Um, Cause I want to like go down a little bit more. Okay. These ones are like, I don't know if these are too small. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Also, another thing to do to avoid doing with this is like making any shapes that are too large. Like, maybe if these two were like combined or something, you want to like keep like. So, we're gonna cut out all of these um, as holes and then we're gonna keep this skirting around. And you want to make sure that you have like. Um, just like kind of like keep that stability in there with not making them like too large. Okay, cool. 